Russian President Vladimir Putin wants you to know his big new RS-28 Sarmat nuclear missile codenamed Satan II by NATO is entering service with Russia's strategic forces this year, per a speech he gave on February 23rd. Never mind that just three days earlier, the new Intercontinental Range Ballistic Missile ICBM, reportedly failed its test launch due to a fault in its second-stage rocket booster and that just before that, Putin announced he was suspending Russia's participation in the New START nuclear arms control treaty. Putin had likely hoped to announce a successful test launch in that speech. Russian officials have notably declined to comment when asked about the test's failure. The US was notified by Moscow in advance of the test launch and undoubtedly observed it using specialized reconnaissance systems. The paradox behind Putin's recent statement lies at the heart of Russia's strategic nuclear deterrence. It matters less to Moscow that the weapons work than that its adversaries fear they will. After all, the Kremlin probably has no desire to actually use its big nukes in a full-blown strategic exchange that could result in losing its capital and millions of its citizens in a matter of hours. But it wants to convince the rest of the world it credibly could engage in such an apocalyptic slugfest if sufficiently provoked. Some also tie the test and new start suspension as retaliation for U.S. President Joe Biden's visit to Kyiv that day, but reportedly, the suspension had been discussed prior to that. Satan II is one of several new nuclear delivery systems Russia has developed with the aim of overcoming evolving U.S. missile defense capabilities. The silo-based weapon measures 3 meters in diameter, 35.5 meters long, and weighs 229 tons making it the heaviest ICBM on the planet once it enters service. The liquid-fueled missile boosts in three stages, allowing it to accelerate to a peak velocity exceeding 20 times the speed of sound as it arcs towards targets up to 6,800 to 11,000 miles away, depending on payload. A successful test in April 2022 saw an RS-28 traverse roughly 3,700 miles in 20 minutes equating to an average speed of Mach 14.5, or over 3 miles per second. But those fancy features if even operational hardly matter if one of the missile's three boosters fails to work, as reportedly happened on the December 20, 2022 test launch from Plesetsk, located 120 miles south of Arctic Arkhangelsk. The Kremlin plans an initial order of 50 Satan II's, with the first delivered to the 62nd Missile Division in Uzhur in south-central Russia most, likely the division's 302nd Regiment, which had its facilities upgraded in 2021. Existing R-36 silos should be mostly compatible with the RS-28. But in fact, delivery of the first Satan II's was announced to take place in 2018, 2020, then 2021, and then 2022. Thus, Putin's recent announcement actually reflects yet more delays, which potentially could worsen due to the need to identify and correct whatever went wrong with last week's test. According to IAS, the missile, developed by the Makyev Rocket Design Bureau and built by the Krasmash factory in Krasnoyarsk, has already experienced many delays and cancelled or failed tests due to issues with its first stage engines, fuselage strength, and personnel turnover at the factory. Satan II was designed to improve the odds its nuclear payload makes it to target, starting with a shorter boost phase to reduce how long its blazing rockets are visible to US space-based infrared sensors.
The Satan II's bus can accommodate up to 10 tons of weapons, including 10 to 16 separate nuclear warheads, known as multiple independent reentry vehicles or MIRVs, which can spray out to accurately attack separate targets, multiplying the number threats a defense system has to overcome. A typical Russian heavy MIRV might have a yield equivalent to 750 kilotons, or 50 times more powerful than the little boy bomb dropped by the US on Hiroshima, Japan in 1945. Guidance is provided by fusing inertial, satellite and stellar navigation systems, with some sources claiming the MIRVs can land on average lands within 10 meters of target important, if attempting to disable an adversary's hardened nuclear missile silos. While the current R-36M2, SS-18 Satan Mod 5, already can carry up to 10 MIRVs, the RS-28 also supposedly can release up to 16 Avengard hypersonic glide vehicles, which are more maneuverable than MIRVs, and can skip above the atmosphere before plunging onto target. Contrary to what their name implies, hypersonic glide vehicles aren't necessarily faster than traditional ballistic missiles or MIRVs, but they're more maneuverable and fly at a shallower arc, potentially reducing warning time. However, some experts argue Avengard may be initially remained deployed on already operational RS-19 ICBMs, instead of the new RS-28. The Sarmat Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, which can carry 15 light nuclear warheads at once and weighs 220 tons, is about 116 feet long. These warheads are arranged as multiple independently targetable reentry vehicles MIRVs, allowing one rocket to strike multiple targets simultaneously. The Satan II missile was developed to replace the R-36 or Vivoda, a Soviet-era intercontinental ballistic missile that NATO dubbed Satan. The missile system's projected operating range is between 10,000 to 18,000 kilometers. Satan II is equipped with sophisticated guidance systems and, most likely, decoys to fool anti-missile defense systems. Experts believe this could be a few dozen extremely light decoys that simulate the warhead, resulting in a kill vehicle attacking the wrong object. In an earlier statement, Vladimir Degger, CEO of the JSC Makyev Design Bureau, highlighted that the new missile is a new generation ICBM with noteworthy performance characteristics. Because of this, it has already been referred to as an engineering miracle and the crowning achievement in rocket technology.